Hi, and welcome back to Growing with Grace. I'm Grace, and I'm here with Ashley Newman today. Ashley, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, thanks for having me, Grace. My pleasure. So how did we get connected originally? Just Facebook stuff? Yeah, you know what? I think I, 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 I'm wondering how we got connected because I remember watching you on Facebook and, and seeing a lot of the stuff you're posting and knowing that you and I have such similar philosophies when it comes to marketing. And I would watch, watch you post and, and think to myself, that's right. She's got it. <laughs> She's saying the right things. People need to listen to this chick. She's got it right. Um, so I think I would be like, thank you. Someone finally noticed <laughs> validation from someone who actually knows marketing. This is great. Exactly. Exactly. I, I, I talk to a lot of dentists all the time. I've uh, been marketing healthcare for a lot of years. And yeah, it's, it's a struggle sometimes in you, and you know, you're, you feel like a lot of times you feel like you're alone, um, in this fight and trying to help people understand what they need to be doing to, to grow their practices. And, um, yeah, it's, it was nice to hear that. Yeah. Somebody else with the exact same philosophy I have, which is, which is awesome. Um, and then, and then we have a lot of common colleagues, right? So, um, yeah. I think after that, we made some personal connections and, it, and it's been fantastic. So we yeah. are really lucky to have you. I um, think originally, I remember uh, meeting Beth Gaddis at, um, at an event and her being like, you need to meet Ashley. And I was like, okay, that sounds great. And then we just hit it off. Um, so what probably happened is I probably Facebook stalked you initially I think a lot of people don't realize that I do that, that I just like friend requests like crazy to build like a network. And that's, it's been really good for business to do that. Um, and then I, a long time ago, like maybe seven years ago or something, I had a really great client that I'm still like, he'll come back one day, you know? And he was with us for a couple of years. We got him really great results. We had a great relationship. And then he went to a smile source event and decided that he wanted to work with a marketing company that was endorsed by smile source. And I was like, Oh, okay. I will miss you. Like, please come back. And so it was like on my own little like business bucket list to one day be affiliated with smile source. And so I am really honored and excited to now be a part of the smile source family. And I want to take a moment to let, the people who are listening that don't know, because there's probably a few people going, wait, what's that? What am I maybe missing out on? So I want to take a minute to just educate people. So Ashley, tell us about, tell us about Smile Source and, and what it does to improve this great profession of dentistry. Yeah, absolutely. So Smile Source is an organization of about seven, a little over 700 private practices across the U.S., and we've been around probably, you know, when you're talking about five, seven years ago, that was right when we got started. And um, so we've grown astronomically over the last, uh, you know, like I said, seven to 10 years. It's really been a model that has been proven in different industries. So we are the sister company of a much larger organization, Vision Source, um, that works with private practice optometrists. And what they learned was there's a few really key things that these, um, these practitioners need in order to make their practices more successful and to have more fun doing what they're doing. So we work with dentists to help improve their profitability. And so there's a couple of ways we do that. So one of them is by cost savings. That's easy. You know, uh, you hear it all the time. There's buying groups everywhere. That's sort of the baseline thing that we do that, that just makes it all make sense financially. Um, and then from there, we talk about how we grow your practice. So we've demonstrated that year over year, we're able to help practices grow an average of 5% above the market. So if the market's increasing at 1% or 2%, our practices are growing at 7% or more year over year. Um, and sometimes we'll hear stories 30%, you know, because we're bring, helping them to bring in things like implants you know they're never they've never placed implants before they've never done adult ortho and so we teach them not only how to do those things but also how to market those things um and so that's really where i come in is, is really helping them understand how to better market their practices um how to you know offer these additional services and get them out to the consumers how to target the right kind of customers um so all of those things kind of fall into my wheelhouse and then the last thing but probably the most important thing is the camaraderie 
So our members, we, like I said, we have 700 across the country. They're broken down into about 54 different uh, regional groups and they meet consistently. So could be as frequently as every month, maybe every other month. And they meet in these uh, peer groups where they're able to really share best practices, communicate with each other, share what's going on without a lot of, um, nobody's guards up, right? So nobody's out there trying to put on this big pomp and circumstance, like, hey, I'm doing great and everything's great. No, they're actually coming there to say, you know what, here's where I'm really struggling. And they're really vulnerable and they make themselves, they put themselves out there and they say, you know what, I need help with X. And I've been at member meetings where I've seen people kind of raise their hand and say, hey, I'm ready to hang it up. Like, this isn't working. Like, my practice is failing. I'm barely able to make payroll. Um, and and they, they will say these things out loud in front of their peers. And their peers rally around them and actually lift them up. And that is just an absolutely incredible thing to watch. Um, seen it happen multiple times. And, and that's really what this group is about. So they get together, like I said, local groups, they'll get together for the annual meeting, and then they get together online. So we have our online forums where they, they're free to ask questions, get help, you know, hey, take a look at this CBCT. Um, what implant is this? We get all kinds of questions. But it, And it's people that you actually know. I think with a lot of, and I have a Facebook group, so it's it's fair for me to make this, this um critical comment a lot of the facebook groups you see these initials as people's names and you see like sort of these alias profiles and people can be really like brave and aggressive behind a computer you know but this is you're networking and you're learning from people from your peers and from people that have been there done that and so and people that you've like grown to know and love and trust and so that camaraderie, it's, it's also like peer to peer advisory too, on some sure. level, right? For sure. Yeah. And I think that's what, what we, I like best about this group is that it's really, you know, a lot of times people say we're the biggest group that no one's ever heard of. Um, and the reason why is because it's been growing via word of mouth. So it's, it's one smile source member running into another colleague and saying, you know what, I really think you would benefit from this. And so it's really friends of friends. So people do have a much higher level of trust that it's, you know, not everybody gets in. Um, it, it is, we have territories and there's people that are locked out and it, it, you know, not, it's not for everyone. We don't think it's for everyone and that's okay. Um, but we do think that there's, you know, a lot that we can do to help uh, preserve private practice dentistry and really to make these guys successful so that they don't they don't fear DSOs. They don't fear, what am I going to do with my practice? Um, you know, how is this going to go? Am I going to have to sell out? We make it so that they would never want to sell out. Um, mm -hmm. And that's really what we're hoping to do. Mm -hmm. And, you know, people, it's DSOs, private practice, um, privately owned group practice, wherever you're at, wherever you want to be, there's always going to be competition. There's always going to be a need to um, come up with differentiators, come up with ways to, to stand out and better serve patients. Um, so there, there should always be a desire in any business owner to grow. Mm -hmm. And I think for a little while in dentistry or so I hear, cause I wasn't in dentistry in the nineties. I didn't get into dentistry until uh, 2008. Yeah, Whatever. We got, we both got in right at the, the, the peak, right? <laughs> yeah. The peak of the, the shit storm. Yeah. Yeah. So they really needed marketing changes in 2008. And I think that, you know, entering the field at that moment was, was amazing. Um, but before that, you still had to kind of compete a little bit, but it wasn't the same as it is today. So I hear anyways. And I think a lot of people just had to do great dentistry and they would just, they would just grow. Mm -hmm. and now it's like, no, like there's, there's Google reviews that are playing a role. Like one person has one bad experience and, and you've got to do all this damage control. And there is so, it's so much more complicated now. What do you say? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, marketing is, it, marketing is getting more and more complicated every day. Um, so like you said, everything from reviews to understanding how SEO is working, um, you know, what's going to get you on a Google map. Um, yeah. You know, what are the keywords you need to be optimized for? 
I saw three wow. major changes this week. Did you see that? And we sent out an e-blast about it, but we didn't I go did. to the public. Did you, you saw it? Yeah, yeah. It's the just, display yeah. ads are totally bonkers. Like they removed certain sizes for display ads. So anyone who's running their own ads has to figure out how to redesign everything that they've done on their own. Yes. I'm so glad this is helping me with mine. <laughs> <laughs> and then what else did they do? They flagged for no reason, a, randomly a bunch of listings, local listings, and they sent messages to the owners of the listings saying that they are suspended, which is a pretty strong word, but yeah. they're not, they're still live. So there's a lot of people that have all this like um, confusion and mm -hmm. Um, so we have to just go in and re revalidate, fill out a form for all our clients or whatever, but there's people out there that they're just kind of in it alone. They don't have that professional support and they don't know where to go. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think smile source does a really great job of giving them options mm -hmm. and really meeting them where they're at because I mean, I'm super niche. I'm like marketing. You want to talk about like team training and this and this and this and this, that's probably someone else, you know? And, you know, I'm sure you've seen the companies that kind of try to do everything for everyone. Speak to me a little bit about that. Cause smile source is like, you guys vet people pretty, pretty tough. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, that's really one of the benefits, right? I, I, and we'll, um, I always go back. I, I, I'm pretty sure it's Ford Gatkins, Dr. Ford Gatkins, that actually said it to us. And he was a he was a young dentist when he came to Smile Source, and he's like, you know, I was opening my practice. I was I had all these things I had to do, and he's like, the last thing I wanted to do was try and figure out who I was supposed to work with. Like, you know, you're figuring out what kind of equipment to buy and this and that and the other. He was like, I was in decision chaos of trying to make sure I was making good, solid business decisions. He had that business background. Um, but it, there, you know, there's so many vendors out there and it was really hard to choose. And when it comes to marketing, that's even a whole, like marketing vendors, there's a billion of them. Um, it's even more than- Now there is. Yeah, even more than equipment companies and things like that. You know, it's not just your laser and things. Um, but yeah, so, so Small Source has, you know, works with over 140 vendor partners. Um, and, and you're right, we do vet them. So we, we work with you guys, um, you know, all of our vendors to really understand, you know, how can you help support private practices, making sure that they're committed to the organization. So, um, you know, there's some cost savings, like the, that kind of stuff that we help negotiate for these guys. But really, it's bigger than that, because it's the partnership that we have at a high level. It's the fact that if, if one of my members was Grace's customer, and they had some sort of bad experience, they would come to me and they would say, I need help. You know, if they, if they had tried their channels, obviously, this would never happen for Grace, but let's just- oh, That's true. Instance. I mean, it probably would For instance, for a minute. Um, but it's perfect. the fact that Grace and I have a great relationship that I could get on the phone with her and say, hey, you know, I'm hearing this thing. Um, how can we help? And we don't let things escalate, right? So it also helps our, our vendors as well because we're out there- working on their behalf too. So same thing for Grace, you know, I'm talking to dentists every day and I say, hey Grace, this this might be a really good fit for you and vice versa for the dentist. And I really would enjoy it's it. really important in marketing too, to have that third party voice of reason. Um, and what I love about you, Ashley, is that you do have a really strong marketing background. Like you know your stuff in marketing. So if someone were to call you, you'd be like, well, when did the campaign launch? And they'd be like yesterday. And you'd be like, <laughs> That's, hold on. that's not how it works. You need to hold the horses. And so sometimes people need to see a professional, a, a secondary professional opinion that's not just there trying to sell them something. Right. Because any third party that is trying to earn their business and you've got a sales rep who only gets paid when they bring you on, they're going to say whatever they can to rip apart whatever it is you have going on. So that unbiased, um, consulting is, oh my gosh, so important for. Yeah. And, that, and that's really what we talk about because we talk about the fact that, you know, we're really our, at Smile Source, our only goal is to grow your practice. That's it. So we're not going to make more money by, sell, you know, selling you on a particular vendor. We really want to help you grow your practice. And if it makes sense to, to use X vendor, 
great. And if it makes sense to use Y vendor, great. Um, we just don't want you going out to, to Z vendor where we know bad things could happen or have happened to other members. And that's the other, the, group, the power of the group is you've got 700, you know, million dollar plus practices who've proven this. It's not, you know, it's not even, not, not even just my word. It's the fact that I know what has happened <laughs> to these other practices who've been working with different people. And I know what's happened to people that are working with the vendors that, that we've vetted and have in, as part of our group. And we're really, we really try and give, you know, it's not a situation where there's one marketing company even. I mean, you know this, uh, we have, no. we have partners because it's not one size fits all um we know that and so we but really it's also not 600 and a free-for-all no. it's no. it's um and, it's and we're not for everyone yeah. and i think it's important that when you have a business in general and i'm going to kind of take a little bit of a segue here and talk about dental marketing if that's okay with you but you should know who your target market is and you should know who's going to be an ideal fit for you and who's not going to be an ideal fit for you. Because when you bring on, let's say a patient who doesn't align with your core values or what you're looking to, to build, it's actually a liability. Mm -hmm. So sometimes, you know, and I'm sure you've seen this too, Ashley, where people are trying to build like a high end fee for service practice. Then the marketing agency is trying to push like super mm -hmm. discounted dentistry and the like initial impression is not at all connecting with that population that they're trying to attract. It's so common. Yeah. And, and that's one of the things we really focus on is helping them to identify like, you know, we, in our world and language, you talk about geospatial analysis and digital reputation and all these sort of, you know, catchphrases that we have internally. But really what we're looking at is, is what populations are you targeting and how are you targeting them? Um, because yeah, you see that all the time. You see people that have $99 special on a website for a high-end cosmetic practice. And it's like, this is just anti your brand. Um, and, and so we really work with the, the, you know, our member dentist to make them under, help them understand, you know, what is the right offer? Um, what should you be offering? Who should you be targeting and how? Um, because, it, you know, it doesn't make sense for everybody to have online appointment booking if you've got a rural pop population of Midwesterners, they're never gonna care about that. Um, but there's a lot of places that will. So we really help them to understand and decipher that as much as we can and then, and then connect them to the right resources. That's awesome. And it's all these decisions. I mean, when you get into, I call it decision fatigue. It's mm -hmm. like when I get home from work and my husband's like, what do you want for dinner? And I'm like, don't ask me any questions. Right? <laughs> Just feed me. I know that sounds so horrible, but I'm like, I will literally say I have decision fatigue right now. Can everyone like hold their questions until tomorrow? Cause <laughs> And that's how it is running a business. And I know the doctors can relate to that. It's because it's constant. Um, sometimes we get stuck in this paralysis of analysis mode mm -hmm. of evaluating. And sometimes it's like, you need to just go. Like you're, that time that you spent in deliberation, some of it was time well spent. Then past a certain point, you're just killing time now. And Delaying that's, the decision. What was that? Delaying the decision. Delaying the decision, absolutely. And and no decision is a decision. Correct. Sometimes it's the worst decision. But so um, you've got a lot of different events, right? That people can attend. So if someone's not a member, but they're kind of thinking of becoming a member, can they attend? Are there any events that they can attend or no? Tons, tons really? and tons. Okay. Yeah. So we actually have a, a bunch of different types of events. So an example, and this is just stuff that's happening at this minute, right? We're talking, I'm talking about the next three months of the year. Um, there's events across the country. I think there's three more happening in the next couple of months here um, from medical billing. So that's a great topic that's out there right now. There's a lot of doctors uh, wanting to get into sleep apnea um, and not understanding medical billing, but it's really bigger than that. So um, we have Dr. Jeff Osborne going around and speaking about medical billing. He has a huge, just incredible resume of experience with this topic. So he's giving courses and those are open to 
non-members and members alike. Um, and then we also have Dr. Mark Murphy. So um, Dr. Murphy is, is well known in the dental space, a big keynote speaker. Um, you may have seen him before. And he's really going around talking about you know, the future of private practice dentistry and, and how we can help practices. And that's another event that's happening again. Um, I think we've got three or four more events this year. But then you know, when we talk about the big events, so we do a huge annual meeting. Um, we're excited to be having that meeting in May in Atlanta. Uh, Grace will be there as a, as a speaker, so we're super excited to have her. Um, and, and there's a lot of great keynotes, so um, I, I wish I could give them all that to you now, uh, but still waiting to, to open registration, but any minute uh, we'll, we'll make a big announcement and, and certainly I'll share it with you guys. Um, you know, when that's open. So you don't have to be a member to attend the annual meeting, correct? No, you don't. You might want to become a member after you attend the annual meeting. So I will tell you that a history has proven that if, he, if anyone who comes to our annual meeting has, it, it's, I, I always sound, we always joke that we say it sounds like a cult when we talk about it, but when, when you come to the annual meeting, <laughs> The the vibe what is Kool Aid. Will you be serving? No, it has. I don't know. I was gonna say it's not Kool Aid, <laughs> but um, but yeah. So okay. so the vibe of the annual oh. meeting is one is such that you know you get there and and I love uh, Dr. Tim Chip said he got he came to the annual meeting and he said, you know. I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop. Like, what's the catch? What's the catch? What's the catch? And he all of a sudden he realized there's no catch. These people are just awesome and they want to help me and they're going to help me figure out how to save money. They're going to help me grow my practice. They're going to be here to just lift me up when I'm having a bad day. He's like, this is crazy that there's so much good happening in dentistry. Um, and we've collected it. You know, we've collected it amongst these practices and we're growing gosh, we'll probably add another 200 practices this year. And it's really, like I said, word of mouth. People come to this event and they, they see it, they feel it, they understand what, what we mean by camaraderie, really driving our organization. Um, and I think it's something that a lot of private practice dentists need in their lives. I mean, I think a lot of them are feeling like they're on an island. And we talk about that a lot. I see people who have joined Smile Source and I see how they feel about Smile Source. And it goes beyond just fulfilling that sense of belonging. There's a lot of pride. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the, the Smile Source members are really high achievers yes. and very business savvy. Like the clients that I have that are, that are you know, affiliated with Smile Source are some of my favorite people to work with because they have realistic expectations. They've been educated. They've talked to peers about what it takes to go from, you know, Y to Z. Um, mm -hmm. And it's, it's fun and it's really incredible um, what you guys have built in a short period of time. So. Yeah, it's, it's fun. And like you said, these guys are, you know, on average, we're talking about a million dollar practice, but they're going to go up to two or three million dollars and they love to mentor. You know, they love to mentor the new guys. I, I just this week, I've talked to three fresh starts um, and connecting them with those groups where you've got these these more experienced dentists has just been invaluable for them. And it's not crazy expensive either. It's not at all something that's out of reach. So if someone's sitting there like either watching or listening and you're sitting here thinking, well, maybe in a few years I can do that. And I think a lot of people in dentistry, a lot of dentists go, I don't know if I can do that. Yeah. I don't even understand that. It's up to you what yeah. you can do. And that, that mindset's what kind of is going to shift when you're around people um, affiliated with Smile Source. Because you're going to be, be able to see more of what you're capable of instead of kind of feeling like a victim to your business, like mm -hmm. kind of feeling like it's going to take X amount of time to be at this certain level. You can actually create that if you want to. So right. yeah, and for the small, when, when it comes to small source membership, we look at it as like, like gym membership, you know, it's going to make sense if you're using it. If you're not using it, you're right. It'll, it won't make sense. Um, and so we what really do want those, those dentists that are looking for, you know, how do I grow? How do I get to the next level? How am I, you know, going to advance as an abundance minded, right? So that they do say, you know what, I'm going to take some risks in order to get here. And I'm going to have to listen 
a little bit. You know, I, I maybe don't know everything there is to know and I could learn. Um, and if they're open and willing to learn from their peers, it, it's a no brainer. It's an absolute no brainer. Yeah. And it's so much more than like an event or a couple CE events. It's so much more than that, but people will get the feel for it once, once they do, once they get a taste of it. So Ashley, if someone's interested in learning more about Smile Source membership, where can we direct them? So the best place to go is, is joinsmilesource.com. So that's a, a great place you're going to see some member testimonials. You'll understand some of our, the, you know, the four pillars that we base the company around. Um, I think that the member testimonials are really probably our most powerful, um, the most powerful tool we have to communicate what Smile Source is and means to these dentists. Um, and they're, they're all, they're dentists that you probably have seen or, or may know. Um, we, you, we t- have a lot of key opinion leaders in our group. Um, so you may even see them on the speaking circuit, you know, uh, so you'll see some of those testimonials, which I think are fantastic. Um, and then you can always call us as well. Um, so, you know, smilesource.com has uh, is a whole another wealth of uh, information. Um, but yeah, join smilesource.com is really the best place for a new dentist to learn about what Smilesource has to offer. Great. Well, Ashley, anything else that you want to share with our viewers or listeners today? No, I just, I think this has been fantastic. Uh, you know, I, I'd love to see you guys out in an event. Um, certainly follow us on Facebook. We are always posting our, our events there. So if you do have an interest in attending an event, uh, certainly look up Smile Source on Facebook. Great. Well, Ashley, thank you so much for being here and for sharing all this great information. And for all of our listeners and watch and watchers, viewers, tune in next time with Growing with Grace. Bye. Have a great day. Bye. Thank you.